So how did we get on this stranger's boat? My husband and I were in Panama City working on getting our Panamanian residencies, which we got, thankfully. And we had about a week left of being in Panama before we were going to go home, back to Canada. And so we were online, we were thinking, oh, we'll just, you know, try to meet some people. We have a week, let's make some friends because we're going to come back to Panama and then we'll have sort of an inn here and we'll get to see our friends. So. We start talking with different people and there's so many great people to meet here. And we stumble upon this couple. And come to find out through talking, you know, they have a sailboat that they're living on full time and they've been doing it for a few years. And we start thinking like, hmm, these people, they kind of look familiar to us. But we weren't really sure who they were. And then all of a sudden, like Alex kind of looked over at me. He was like, I know who they are. That's Captain Rick and Madalena from Sailing Sophisticated Lady. So I, you know, we go on YouTube and we look and we're like, for sure, that's them. Okay, now we know who they are. We felt a little bit embarrassed about not remembering who they were, but yeah, we were like, wow, this is kind of perfect. We've been wanting to live on a sailboat for four years now. And so it seemed like the perfect opportunity. So Captain Rick and Maddie uh, invited us to meet them on their boat just to check it out and uh, see if maybe we wanted to crew with them. And at that time, I was thinking, I. I think we're probably just going to make some cool friends and then go back home. I didn't foresee that we were going to throw all our plans to the wind and live on the boat with them. But sure enough, that's what happened. We met them and they were so gracious and nice and they just had this really calm vibe that we really clicked with. And one of the first things I remember was Madalena cooking us this really awesome uh, pesto. And just, we, we watched Star Trek together that night. It was just really, really chill. And then the next day we went out to the Tunnel of Love in, in Panama on their dinghy. And it was just, you know, for me and Alex, it was like this perfect thing that we've been looking for for years of just living the cruiser's life and so they Rick and Maddie I think they had this like plan to make us fall in love with it so that we wouldn't leave them I think they really wanted us as crew and so and we had this decision to make are we gonna basically postpone our flight back to Canada or are we gonna like just go back home like we thought we were and it really wasn't a question. I mean, we pretty much left our meeting with Rick and Madalena, like saying, we're coming back. We just need to sort out our apartment in Panama. And so we, we rushed back to the apartment. We packed everything. We were a bit nervous and excited about this whole new thing. And we wanted to, you know, put our best foot forward. So we just packed everything and race back to Linton Bay Marina where Rick and Maddie were at the time. And this is our, this is our cabin. Uh, we've been here for exactly a month, which is kind of crazy to think about because it flew by. It, honestly, it feels like we just got here. And in a lot of ways we did because I mean, a month isn't that long, but it's also more than I've ever had on a sailing boat ever. So we moved into this really nice cabin and we set it all up with our with our stuff. We've got like a system where everything goes and everything's always in its place and we find things very quickly. And it's been really, really awesome. We've seen lots of different places together. 
We've, uh, we've gotten some sailing, mostly motor sailing, under our belt. And I feel like Alex and I are really taking to this lifestyle super well. We've had quite a few boat projects too, as well. And it's just been this amazing learning experience and we're growing every day. And it's just, I don't know, it's just crazy to think that we've been here for a month and it feels like I've already changed somehow. Like I, I've been through this incredible transformation and it's really cool to get to share that with you. So I'm looking forward to sharing more of our adventures with you and the good and the not so good and the challenges and everything in between just to kind of give you a glimpse into what it's like to crew on somebody else's boat <laughs> which is I mean it's just like crazy to even hear myself saying that and to be doing that with my husband so yeah I'm really looking forward to this adventure with you guys It's time to edit. Woohoo! We just finished recording all that intro stuff. Now we get to edit it. Now the real work begins. <laughs> See you later. See you later.